So I've only ever gotten two F's in classes that I've taken. The first of which was music. Talk about hot cross buns gone wrong. And the second was art. Now, the art F was completely reasonable. My octopus shaped pot blew up in my art teacher's kiln. He, he wasn't all that happy about it to say the least. But those art Fs are a thing of the past with DALI 2. Now, if you haven't heard about DALI 2, it is an absolute game changer model released by the OpenAI team. Let's dig into it. What's happening guys, my name is Nicholas Renaud and in this video we are going to be taking your prompts and plugging them into DALI 2. Now if you haven't heard about DALI 2, it is a ridiculously large model which improves upon the DALI 1 model and its significance or its task is that it is able to take text, so natural language that you might type in, and it's able to use a diffusion model to be able to generate images. Now the improvements or key improvements over DALI 1 versus the DALI 2 model is that DALI 2 is able to produce higher resolution models, it is a lot more accurate and it also features a capability called inpainting. So you can replace certain sections of images. So let's say for example, you've got a picture of your dog sitting on a chair, you could replace or inpaint a portion of that image with a cat, for example, by passing through the appropriate text prompt. Now, enough talking, let's actually dig into it. Cause I got an invite that looked a little bit like this in my email inbox before I went on holiday and I've been itching to try it out. This was originally meant to be Dali in Bali, but uh, I don't know, I just didn't do it. So we're gonna do it now. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty, my lads and lassies, welcome to Dali, not in Bali because uh, yeah, your boy was hidden cocktail hour. Secret, I'm still hitting cocktail hour. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at what we can make with this absolute masterpiece of a machine learning model because I've been, uh, secretly I've been playing around with it just a little bit, but I figured I really wanted to show you. And at the same time, we are also going to bring up the prompts that you guys shared on the community tab because... We're all about interactivity here as well. And there are a bunch. I just got to find out where the hell we had them. Uh, da, da, da. Here, comment the prompts. We're going to be taking a look at these. First up, my absolute favorite. I was just testing this out before. Um, I was playing, uh, passing through Michael Jordan. Got my little Michael Jordan Funko Pop. How cool is that? Um, I'm waiting for the Lewis one. But anyway, uh, there's obviously a whole bunch of stuff. So Space Jam on Mars on Mars. I should make this bigger, hey. I got 150, that's a bit better. So again, the DALI 2 model is an improvement over DALI 1. You got better resolution, you've got in-painting, we'll try it in-painting, see how that works. Space Jam on Mars. All right, so maybe it doesn't quite know what Space Jam is, but I mean, you sort of get the idea. So we've got, I, maybe it's like Jam on Mars. <laughs> The, this was MJ on Mars. This is what I tested out before. How cool is this? Michael Jordan playing basketball on the moon. As if that isn't sick. He's got Jordans on. Oh, so cool. Look at that. Absolute masterpiece. Ah, oh, man. I just love this so much. Think about like all the development and all the developers and all the effort they've actually gone and put to build something like this. It's I don't know. It's absolutely fascinating. What's under? What happens if he hits surprise me? Photograph of an astronaut riding a horse. Go on, give it to us. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I don't normally drink coffee during videos, but I just got my third booster vaccine, and it's hitting me a little stronger than usual. So need a little pick me up. Astronaut riding a horse. I love it. I mean, that is pretty real. Uh, that looks like one of those clay. Um, artworks. I don't know if you ever used to watch, is it Gumby? Like where they used to have those, uh, the green dude doing random stuff. It kind of gives you those vibes. That one looks like an old school photograph off Wikipedia. Fascinating. So cool. But you've also got this in painting. So you can obviously generate text, but I believe you can upload an image and ask it to in paint. So let's say, um, we got the Mona Lisa, right? Lisa, can we do something with this? I'm going to download this image, save image as, save it on my desktop. If I go and upload, 
the Mona Lisa. Don't upload it. Da, da. Yeah, okay, cool. We're going to edit that area. What do we need to do? Done. And then what do we need to hit? Edit. Okay, cool. So we are going to edit this area and say um, Garfield. What do we need to do? Erase, but then describe your Garfield as Mona Lisa. Oh, take a look. It's gone and done it. As if that isn't awesome. Garfield Mona Lisa, guys. I present to you my masterpiece. My art teacher would have been so proud. Probably not, but you get the idea. Oh, felons? I feel like I'm going to have nightmares of that one, but you get the idea. Take a look. It's got, oh, That one's kind of more dog-ish than cat. I guess it's a cat. So cool. All right, what else are we going to do? Um, uh, what is it? Golden Gate Bridge. But I want the water to be lava. Uh, let's upload this. Let's test it out. So this, this is an example of in-painting, right? So we can take a specific region of that image and have Dali replace it or try to in-paint and replace that portion of the image so let's grab like this section of the bridge and then we're going to edit a specific region so let's do the water here so I'm just selecting the region and I don't know should we can I make this small yeah I can we can make the cursor a little bit smaller so I want you to do that region you can tell my photoshop skills are on point look at this precision not really precision uh, uh yeah cool all right the golden gate bridge but the water is lava oh i didn't realize we could do 3d renders look at this tip uh, i didn't do it What happens if we just, um, the San Francisco, how do we get out of this? The Golden Gate Bridge, but the water is lava. I want to do a 3D render. Remember guys, we're going to do a 3D render next. No, nah, doesn't want to do it. What is happening here? Oh wait, that's just a random picture. I mean, it's generating nice images. It's kind of cool. Doesn't want to turn the water to lava. Oh, well. All right. A 3D render of a meerkat. And oh, what is Pumbaa again? Warthog. Will it create Timon and Pumbaa? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, this is great. Is that that's not quite a warthog, but you sort of get the idea. It's almost like what is it? Looks like a possum almost. It's tough hyena. This one's a little freaky. What's happening here, guys? Let's what is that? <laughs> what happens if we hit variations? Oh, does it just create more? I haven't really had enough time to play around with this, but I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. What we're going to do in a second, once this is done, is use your prompts. Oh, an oil painting. This is so cool. One looks jacked and one looks like he's been hidden the, uh, the buffet. All right. So what did you guys prompt? All right, Ravnit Lote, you commented hyper realistic battle ready zombie penguin eating Minecraft. Oh my, Minecraft style bread. All right, let's go out of that one. So, a hyper realistic battle ready zombie penguin eating Minecraft style bread. I've got no idea what to expect with this one. 
I'm like expecting a penguin in like tactical gear eating some okay there you go not all that tactical as a penguin but you get the idea what is happening is that like zombie bread there you go you've got zombie bread Ravnit, hope you like that one. Let's see, uh, what, can we generate some variations? This. I love these, right? How cool is that? A pencil and watercolor drawing of a bright city in the future with flying cars. A bowl of soup that is also... Oh, this one looks a little freaky. Look at my boy, he's got, a, he's got his Cuba bread. He's loving life. All right, that's your hyper-realistic battle ready. <laughs> Zombie penguin eating Minecraft style bread. Say that but like as a tongue twister. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could bat high up in the night sky? All right, let's do that one, David. This one I feel like should be pretty easy for it to generate. There's nothing. I guess it's just a bat up, bat high up in the night sky. There you go. You got your bat high up in the night sky. All right, I think you know where I'm going with this. What if we just did Batman high up in the night sky? Can it generate? There's a new channel idea. Can it generate? Instead of can it blend it or will it blend? We're going to do can it generate. Oh, take a look at this. My dude Batman's up in the night sky. Kind of even generate. What is that? Is that like, that's like sunglasses, man. Oh, uh, no, we can just zoom in. I like that logo. That's the new and improved Batman logo. Sunglasses, man. Now he's like jumping over the moon. How cool are these? This is so cool. You can see Gotham down bottom. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. All right, what else do we have? A dog stepping on... A B, a painting in the style of amber. All right, so this is coming from Gagan. Let's try this one out. Is amber a style? It's, I don't know. I've never heard of the style of amber. I'm, I'm like, every time I think amber, I'm thinking like Jurassic Park, where they're extracting the DNA out of the mosquito. What's up? Editing Nick here. I cannot believe I didn't realize what this was in reference to. My girlfriend came running out of the room as soon as I finished watching the video. I was like, Nick, how did you not realize who this was in reference to? I don't know. I just don't watch the news. There you go. This is Dog Bee Man. There you go. That dog stepping on a bee and it's amber in color at least. A little, little beagle. Hey, there's a bit of honeycomb in the background. There you go, Dali. Uh, this one's actually nice. You could actually frame that and throw it up on a wall. Is anyone doing that? Probably is NFT is um, I'd imagine people are already on, on this. Dog stepping on a bee. I love it. All right, what else do we have? Dal E driving by the coast. Oh god. All right, so now we're getting a little bit meta here. Who's this come from? This come from Korinianus. Let's give it a crack. Where do people come up with these ideas? An expressive oil photo of a teddy bear. Is this what Dali imagines itself as? Like almost like a cyber truck? As a Jeep. Yeah. Oh, this one. Well, Dali's got a little bit of a fractured sense of self. Take a look at it. Dali, are you okay, my guy? Or girl? Whatever. Or other gender? Who knows? Fascinating. What else? A piano man sitting beside his piano. One of his hands is missing. There are missing keyboards at the place where his missing hand should have been. Digital art. Okay. That's, this one's very descriptive. Binyamin. Let's give it a crack. Piano man sitting... Piano man sitting beside his piano. One of his hands is... Okay, let's just give this... Um, um, this is going to be interesting. This one's very detailed, isn't it? Okay, how's it going? A piano man sitting beside his piano. One of his hands is... All right, so I don't know if it... Oh, this is pi literally piano man. The man as a piano. 
I mean, it smashed it. That hand is kind of missing. The missing keyboards at the place where he's missing. This is the... There are... <laughs> Whatever. All right, that, there you go. You've got a response there. Darth Pikachu uses the lightning method of Darth Sidious. An awarded photorealistic painting. All right, we're giving this one... To Benjamin, you, you, you're dropping bangers here. Let's give this one a crack. Darth Pikachu. I love it. I've been playing um, Pokemon Arceus lately. It's uh, it's becoming a little bit of an addiction. I caught a Pikachu the other day. But anyway, let's take a look at what Darlige generates. Oh, this is actually sick. This is the sickest one so far. Look at Darth Pikachu. Oh, damn. That is so... Is he holding a lighter there? I feel... I feel or a lightsaber? Oh, it's like a baby lightsaber. That is sick. <laughs> oh, here is uh this is almost like a Harry Potter cross Harry Potter, Star Wars, and Pokemon crossover. Surely that's a uh that's a one, not a lightsaber. Let me know in the comments. Alright. Silent. The prompt. The thin line between love and hate. We're getting deep. All right, let's grab this one. How many more are they? Oh, we've got. Oh, oh, we've got. Oh, we've got. I don't know how many more of these we're going to be able to do. Let's let's keep going. The thin line between love and hate. I'm curious. This one's a little philosophical, isn't it? What's it going to draw? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Okay. All right. So we we just got a gray painting there, but black heart and a gray heart the thin line i mean it's let's be honest it's a little bit more than a thin line we're looking a little bit uh thicker there thicker than a snooker uh yeah mm. okay there's a line ipad is this implying that there's a uh technology creates a divide between love and hate the phone there i don't know ask something about life and death flying toasters Flying toast and flying toasters with wings. I like flying toasters with wings. Let's do that. This is coming from Johan Zwilling. Let's give it a crack. I could do this for the rest of the night. This is great. Oh, rest of the... What time is it? 1.05. I could do this for the rest of my lunch break. We're going to do this again during the live stream anyway, but there you go. Flying toasters. With, that reminds me of like 90s clip art. Like you remember like when you were doing projects in high school and like just to add a little pizzazz, you used to throw in a little bit of clip art. This is that. This, this would have been a photo that I threw into my essay for sure. All right. What else we got? Prompt a dead person. Uh, we got to get through some of these. Massive exploration going on. We are busy people. Uh, I like this one. Renaissance painting of Mr. Bean causing problems by Newman. Let's give it a crack. I like this. This is cool. You can tell he's causing problems. He's up to no good. Oh, this is actually generated like a caption. Can we do like cartoons in this? All right. A data scientist cartoon a data scientist trying to solve a coding problem as a cartoon this is me just winging it this is cool teddy bears shopping for groceries in japan a bowl of soup that looks there you go That's, look at him he's clearly solving problems this is me most days what kind of language is that? Corelity Pivor. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. You got data scientists solving problems. This is this is exactly what a data scientist looks like solving coding problems. All right. What else? Oh, I like this. Ancient Egypt. So this is coming from Muhammad. Ancient Egypt, Egypt civilization drawn with a cyberpunk theme. All right, let's give that one a crack. 
All right, while that's generating, what else we got? Studying book, Lord, Voldemort, Lord Voldemort, eat a birdie bot's candy with a taste of sand, a caricature. Uh, what else? Oh, I like this one. Ancient Mummy. I, I remember seeing this one while I was on holiday. This one actually sounds sick. And we're going to do a cow boxing gloves. All right. So we've got two more. Let's give, give these cracked. Oh, this is dope. This has almost got like Halo themes, like Master Chief's helmet in an Egypt. Honestly, they should do a uh, a Halo based in Egypt as if that wouldn't be sick. How cool is that? Whoa. That is so cool. Nice. Got like the little Sphinx style happening around here. Cyberpunky. This is sick. Hmm. Not my fave, but I mean, to everyone's tastes. That's gangster. It almost gives me, um, there was that rapper that sort of had the white eyes type look. It sort of, if you know, let me know. But, um, if you know, you know, but you kind of got that vibe from it. That actually looks amazing. That's like an album cover right there. When I'm, when I finally drop my, uh, rap mixtape, that's going to be it. Oh, I saw this one. Will's, Will, Will Smith, Smith, Will. All right, hold on. I got to do this one. Will, Will Smith, Smith, Will. All right, can't do Will Smith. So, all right, so it looks like their, their policy violations are definitely there. So we're not going to do that one again because it clearly doesn't like famous people. Um, and you're not meant to do famous people on this. Claps to open AI for at least being good with that. Uh, what else do we have? What was the other one? Wait, there was the dance party. Here we go. Ancient mummy dancing in a party with its robo friends. This is coming from Sai Vasmi. Let's grab this one. It's dancing with its robo friends. So I guess Red Eyes is a robot. I like it. I like these ones, like the claymation ones or the stop motion ones. I was actually watching this absolutely amazing animator, one of the guys that worked on Kubo, and it kind of gives me those vibes, right? Oh, uh, this is almost like an alien there. There you go, guys. Dalek's generating. I think we've got one more before we're wrapping this up, but you've seen what's possible. Wait, there was one more. I could have sworn that I was going to do one more. Da, da, da. Oh, this one. A cow with boxing gloves fighting a wolverine. There we go. All right, this is the last one. I promise. A sea otter with a pearl earring. I like it. By Johannes Vermeer. <laughs> I like it. We got a bull fighting a... I don't know what that is. I guess you could call that a wolverine or is that a, what is a wolverine wolverine i thought those were like kind of low and squat yeah oh and i guess you could have hugh jackman in there as well hugh jackman is fighting like a deer or something like an elk but it's generating guys how cool is this like i mean this is one of one of these amazing models that are now out there and it sort of shows you how far the field has come that you're able to do this and it's able to be accessed as a web app i think that's absolutely fascinating if you think about the infrastructure that's probably sitting behind this it's probably absolutely nuts but that in a nutshell is us going through dali so me using some of your prompts to generate some stuff and sort of giving you a bird's eye view of what's possible with this absolutely amazing model. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. A peace. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, tick that bell and all the other good stuff. Hopefully you can join me for the live stream later on a little bit tonight. We'll probably be doing a little bit of this live. If you enjoy it, do let me know. If you've got any questions, comments or any other big AI models that you'd like me to take a look at or like me to go through live, let me know. Thanks again for tuning in guys. Peace. Oh my God. That is friggin' sick. Guys, 
Legit, this model is brilliant. As soon as you do get access to this, make sure you do mess around with it and check it out. This is a complete game changer.